the auditorium um, chandelier fixtures here would burn out a regular incandescent bulb every two to three months and every time we would replace the light bulbs we would, you know and I, I we would come back into the auditorium and we would see that wow you know we just put the light bulbs in and the chandelier is already burned out it takes a lot to have to get back up there with a 60-foot ladder and replace four to five light bulbs in each chandelier. You need at least three staff members, at least two hours of time. The auditorium here with three schools in the building gets quite a bit of usage. I would say six to seven hours a day. Uh, all schools schedule to use this room, so it, it it's hard to be able to get in here with the, the amount of hours we need to change the light bulbs over. Um, we've done some math to see what the payback was and it looks like over a year's time um, we'll save about 15,000 kilowatt hours. The LED bulb gives off less heat as opposed to an incandescent bulb, especially in this room where there are always a lot of people we needed to reduce the heat. We've definitely felt the difference in the lower temperature in the room from using the LED bulbs. We have a total of eight chandeliers which require four light bulbs each one, which total to 32 light bulbs for the whole auditorium. We went from 100 watt incandescent light bulbs um, to 21 watt LED light bulbs for each fixture. So we're down to, again, four 21 watt bulbs in each fixture um, instead of 400 watts. So you're talking 80, 84 watts each fixture as opposed to 400 watts. The, the thousand dollars that I earned through the demand response program, I invested back into the purchase of LED light bulbs for the auditorium, which in the long run saved in energy cost savings of about 6,000 kilowatt hours for the year and was a huge payback on my labor costs. And not having to use precious man hours has been a huge savings for us moving forward uh, with the changing of the light bulbs less frequently. So I would say that my fireman Ray Vega and my handyman Juan Roman um, were two people on my staff that um, were very interested in carrying this project out. We are enrolled here this summer as well for the demand response program so we're looking forward to earning more funding to reinvest back into our systems here for future projects moving forward.